You're talking about the mayor of London. Is that who you said? Yes. Well, I think he's been a uh, not very good mayor, from what I understand. He's done a poor job. Crime is up. A lot of problems. And I don't think he should be criticizing uh, a representative of the United States that can do so much good for the United Kingdom. Um, for you, President Trump, as you hold talks with the current Prime Minister, the leader of Her Majesty's opposition has been addressing a protest rally against your visit in Trafalgar Square. He says he's disappointed you attacked the London mayor and he criticised your record on refugees. What do you have to say to him? And is this man someone you could do a trade deal with? You're talking about the mayor of London. Is that who you said? Yes. Well, I think he's been a uh, not very good mayor from what I understand. He's done a poor job. Crime is up. A lot of problems. And I don't think he should be criticizing uh, a representative of the United States that can do so much good for the United Kingdom. Uh, we talked about it before. He should be positive, not negative. He's a negative force, not a positive force. And if you look at what he said, he hurts the people of this great country. And I think he should actually focus on his job. It'd be a lot better if he did that. He could straighten out some of the problems that he has and probably some of the problems that he's caused. Thank you. I don't know Jeremy Corbyn. Never met him. Never spoke to him. He wanted to meet today or tomorrow, and I, I decided that I would not do that. Uh, I think that he is, from where I come from, somewhat of a negative force. I think that uh, people should look to do things correctly as opposed to criticize. I really don't like critics as much as I like and respect people that get things done. So I've decided not to meet. As far as the protests, I have to tell you, because I commented on it yesterday, uh, we left the Prime Minister, the Queen, the royal family, there were thousands of people on the streets cheering. And even coming over today, there were thousands of people cheering. And then I heard that there were protests. I said, where are the protests? I don't see any protests. I did see a small protest today when I came, very small. So a lot of it is fake news, I hate to say. But you saw the, the people waving the American flag, waving your flag. It was tremendous spirit and love. There was great love. It was an alliance. And I didn't see the protesters until just a little while ago, and it was a very, very small group of people put in for political reasons. So it was fake news. Thank you. And I would say to both the Mayor of London and to Jeremy Corbyn, uh, the discussions that we have had today are about the future of this most important relationship between the US and the UK. As the President described it, the greatest alliance the world has seen. It is this deep, special relationship and partnership between the United States and the United Kingdom that ensures our safety and security, and the safety and security of others around the world too. And it is this relationship that helps to ensure there are jobs that employ people here in the UK and in the United States, that underpins our prosperity and our future. That is a relationship we should cherish. It is a relationship we should build on. It is a relationship we should be proud of. And this really is a very big and important alliance. And I think people should act positively toward it because it means so much for both countries. It means so much. And it's been so good.